Uh, this is just a quick tutorial on how to install Kingdom Hearts Critical Mix. I've been seeing online some people have been having difficulties installing it. Um, and I will also be going over how to install it alongside of Kingdom Hearts Refined. You should be able to play both of these mods together um, to 100% completion of the game. Um, I didn't see any uh, compatibility issues between the two of them. Um, so they should both work together. Um, you just need to make a quick modification to one of the scripts for Critical Mix here. Um, but beyond that, I've been seeing some people just have some issues um, installing the mod here. Uh, I already have the mod installed, so I'll just kind of go over how you install it after the fact. Um, so I won't actually be reinstalling it here, um, but I'll just kind of go through and explain what you would do um, in order to install the mod normally. All right, so first you have to download both uh, KH1's PC patch manager here uh, and the Lua front end right here. So for the PC Pass Manager, all you're going to do is go over to Releases here, get the latest one, and download it. And then for Lua Front End here, you're just going to download that as well. Uh, next big thing you're going to do is you're going to go to your Kingdom Hearts Install folder, go to Manage, and go to your Installation folder here. And this should uh, be your folder. Um, I'm going to have a bunch of extra files here because I already have some of the mods done and um, I have some other mods added on top of that. So of course you're going to need like WinRAR or something to... Um, uh, extract these files, um, but I'm not going to be going into how to install WinRAR. From here, I just extract all the files into my Kingdom Hearts uh, folder here. I make I make a new folder and uh, just tell it Lua front end. Um, you can put it wherever you want. I just find it easiest to put it in my Kingdom Hearts install folder. Next, uh, you should make sure to get Refined, um, get the latest release, um, and just download the zip file. And then when you get Refined, uh, just open the Kingdom Hearts 1 folder up, extract the exe in here, and then uh, when you do extract it, you're just going to rename it to uh, what the actual name of Kingdom Hearts 1's executable is, which is Kingdom Hearts Final Mix. I'd recommend uh, making like a backup of the original, so just copy it, paste it, and just add something at the end. I just did original. Um, this is just in case something goes wrong and you can't launch Kingdom Hearts 1 again, so you don't have to like reinstall uh, via like Epic, uh, you don't have to re reinstall the whole thing or anything like that. Um, and with that, you'll have Refined for Kingdom Hearts 1. Um, it should, uh, typically it will look like this, it will change the thing, although sometimes it can, from my experience, it does also change the logo back to the original, but it doesn't really matter, um, regardless. But next, you're just going to drag a PC Patch Manager into the install folder for Kingdom Hearts. Um, you can use this for all sorts of different mods. Uh, next, you're going to want to make sure that you get the resources folder. Um, you have two ways of doing that. You can either click on this resources.zip folder here and then click download. Or you can go on the Kingdom Hearts Critical Mix page and just click on this link. Uh, it should just download it. Next, you're going to want to make sure you extract that folder into the Kingdom Hearts install directory. Um, just in the root directory here. And it should have all of this in here. So it should look the, like this. So now that you have all that set up, uh, next you're going to go into the files section here on Nexus and um, just download these two files. Next, now that you have all of that set up, you're going to actually install the uh, KH1 PC patch. So you just click and drag this on top of the PC patch manager here. It might ask you uh, for the EN folder. Um, you're just going to go into the image folder here and drag this onto the um, uh, command prompt that appears and then press enter. Um, from what I recall, it's been a while since I've had to do that. Uh, PC Patch Manager, I think, remembers that uh, after the first time you do that. Um, at least as for me. You can do the same thing for all sorts of other Kingdom Hearts 1 PC Patch uh, mods. And you should just be able to drag it on there and uh, it'll install it. So from here, you still have to install the scripts. So you're just going to go into the Lua front end folder here and go to the scripts. Go to KH1GL. And then all you're going to do is take all these scripts in here and put them into this folder. So the one issue you're going to end up running into is that both mods have a modification to the FOV value on uh, the game. The easiest way to get past this is to just turn off Critical Mix's implementation of that. Um, that's kind of better in my opinion as well because uh, Critical Mix doesn't give you an option to switch between FOVs. Meanwhile, Refined has an option in the settings of the game to swap between the original game's FOV and the modified FOV. Um, but if both are on at the same time, it's gonna the camera's gonna be constantly every frame uh, jittering in and out. Um, so I would recommend getting Notepad++ for this. Although you can use any text editor um, and just open up the 
quality of life Lua script here. What you're going to do is find the on frame function here. And basically what this does is every frame of the game, it's going to be making these function calls. Uh, and what you're going to want to do is turn off the wide field of view uh, function call here by putting two dashes in front of it. So it looks like this. Just put two dashes in front of it and it should comment it out. So this will turn off Critical Mix's implementation of a wider field of view. I'm sure that there's a way to do it for Refind. I just find this to be a lot easier since this is just a, a easily modifiable in a script. There's other functions you can turn off here if you don't want these features from uh, Critical Mix. Like for instance, if you don't want to skip the island segment at the beginning of the game, or if you don't want the save menu to be always present, you can turn those off if you'd like. Uh, from there, you're just going to save the file uh, and then you can close it. Now you should have it installed, but you're going to want to make sure that you open up Lua Frontend here and then launch Kingdom Hearts. Um, so you can open up Lua Frontend now as well. The biggest thing is that you're going to want to turn it on before you open up Kingdom Hearts Final Mix here. Um, and then from here, you're going to want to make sure that you have Kingdom Hearts uh, GL selected here and make sure that you have all these scripts present and activated. From there, you're just going to go to Engine, Start Engine. You'll see that it says, please wait. It's trying to attach process. So what it's doing here is it's trying to wait for Kingdom Hearts 1 to actually launch. So from there, we're just going to open up Kingdom Hearts Final Mix. So if your title screen ends up looking like this, then it should have installed properly. So as you can see, it is working for me. There's no camera jittering around. Um, and you should be able to play the game from here. So you should notice uh, Sora has some new moves if it installed correctly as well. So once you get to the point where you can open your menu here, uh, you should be able to um, see a few things to see if the mods are working correctly. For instance, you should be able to switch between classic and enhanced field of view here. So here's classic. And here's enhanced. And there shouldn't be any stuttering with the camera here uh, if you did this properly. Another thing that you'll notice is you'll be able to swap between standard, critical, and master difficulty. And you should have a bunch of uh, different abilities here. Uh, if it's not working uh, beyond that, you might have some other mods installed or you might need to reinstall the game to make sure that uh, you have a fresh install before you do this. If you have any further questions, feel free to leave a comment in the comment section down below. Uh, and thanks for watching.